What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be going we're going to be going over some uh, new arrivals and some items that are coming soon to Blade HQ. Uh, this is something that was brought to my attention very recently and that's that the PM2 Tanto, uh, both the black coated blade and the standard satin blade are going to be restocked, which is cool. I think there was some speculation on whether or not that was actually going to happen, but apparently it's going to. Uh, if you want to get your hands on this uh, and it has not dropped yet, you can find the link for it right down in the description. It'll come to this page coming soon. You can email one available, text one available. I hope that works for you. That's the best that I can do is just let you know, right? Um, but I know a lot of people, if you're not interested in the Tanto PM2, then you can ignore this. But yeah, both the satin finished version and the black version are listed as coming soon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we're going to start with new arrivals first, and then we'll go back to coming soon. Uh, by the way, thanks to my patrons who are supporting me right now. Now, there's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, so uh, this page, exactly, if you're wondering, why would I sit through this and watch you or listen to you talk about this stuff when I can just do it myself? You're right, I will link this page as well as coming soon right at the top of the description so that you can search new arrivals are coming soon at your leisure and you don't have to listen to me talk. But if you want to hear my commentary on this stuff, I have not seen any of these pages yet. I just know that there's a lot of new stuff, so I wanted to go through this. If you want to go through it together with me, then feel free to stick around. All right, so first off, uh, the Pena Knives, Pena Knives X-Series Swaybacks in the Jade or Natural G10 and M390 in the Warncliffe. That's pretty cool. $274, yeah, titanium G10, M390, and of course, people have very much been in favor or have been enjoying the Pena Knives X-Series, so hopefully this is still available by the time you guys are seeing it. That's definitely something that I think is cool. Uh, moving on here, Tactical Scissors, Leatherman Raptor Response Multi-Tool Scissors. All right, well, you, you know, some people might have a use for that. I don't have much of a use for that, um, but maybe you will. CRKT Woo, 6-bit driver hex bit tool aluminum. That's not bad for 25 bucks. Gosh, I wish I could tell you guys a thing or two about these ballast songs, but as many of you know, I'm not much of a ballast song guy. That's a freaking expensive ballast song, so... I hope it does all the balasong stuff that balasong people like. Looks cool. I just don't know anything about them. Sorry. Honey Badger Claw. I think we've seen that before. Um, but there you go. It's there. I'm curious about the Boker Plus OSB. Not the purple one, but just the uh, the little... It looks like it's Cali Legal. 1.7 inches, right? I like this because it has a face switch on it. And because it's freaking cheap. $59.96. Here's the thing. Uh, I have not handled any Boker OTFs, but I'm very familiar, as many of you guys are, with the Boker Kalashnikov, which is probably the best budget sight opening automatic knife in existence. Um, so there's a lot of things that make me curious about this. Number one, it's a Boker Auto. Number two, it's D2. Number three, it's Cali Legal. And number four, it's $59.96. And number five or whatever number we're on, did I say face switch? That's That's cool. I like face switch autos. Even if you, you know, don't live in a restrictive area like California, that's still kind of a neat little office carry OTF. I like that a lot. Okay, moving on here. Let's go to the next page. These should all be readily available right now. Concept has something new here. Uh, something that looks interesting. The Concept Hazakura with a uh, Timascus inlay there. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Let's do the, if, you're gonna, if we're gonna be competitive, let's do 20 CV. The S35 VN is fine, but I mean like, you know, Kaiser's kind of dominating the whole titanium and S35 VN thing at the $150 mark, it seems like. So, Kaiser, not concept, Kaiser, which is, they're definitely, I would say Kaiser is definitely direct competition. Um, concept has uh, some just feeling of quality upgrades, so a little bit higher, sure, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you want to blow my mind at 239, 20 CV in Timascus, I think would be pretty cool, right? It's It looks like a nice design. I'm just, you know, the S35VN thing. Some Liang Ma's, uh, those are always good. Mm, very high quality stuff. 
CRKT Pilar exclusive in Micarta. That's D2. This is the, is this the original? Okay. I like the original better than the two, but I like the three better than both of them. So, but that's neat. You know, D2, Pilar, $44.95. Okay, great. Um, that's probably the best looking production bug out that they do. Uh, that's the one in, is that S90V? No, it's M390. Yeah, that's probably the best looking one that they do. And I know that people are like, it's aluminum. Uh, it still looks nice to me. Moving on here. Goodness gracious, what is going on here? The Protec Les George SBR GX2 or G12. If they're going by the whole Roman numeral thing. 240 bucks. All right. Uh, we've got some button lock elementums in uh, Damascus. I think, are the button lock elementums plentiful? They sure look like it. Well, there you go. There's a whole bunch of button lock elementums that you can choose from. Those are fun. There's only one way to deploy them, and that's with the button lock. So, you know, do with that what you will. It was, it was neat, though. It just feels, you know, that's the only way to deploy it. There's no other way. Guardian 3.5s, those are good knives. I've only handled one of the Guardian series fixed blades, but I was very happy with it. So, M4 though, ooh. Are these all M4? Hang on, let's take a look at one random one here. Yeah, okay, so these are M4. Wow, for uh, for 130 bucks. It looks like a pretty good fixed blade, um, for sure. Some more new concepts. Does concept have a... Is this a button lock? Huh. Okay, let's look at this one. Is that or is it an automatic? No, it's certainly not. There's no way. What is this? Uh, let's read about it. Yeah, flipper dual thumb stud opener with a button lock. Oh boy. Okay, so they went for they went for some serious fidget factor here. We've got a flipper tab, low profile flipper tab button lock and thumb stud deployer seven and a half inches overall i think that's probably a good size blade material is what stainless steel uh well tell us what it is i trust concept to do you know to not pull that can we see no it just says made by mikhail wallopson what is this <laughs> is there a picture that's going to show us what the blade steel is there it is yeah s35vn you can see it right there okay uh, there you go. I'm I'm much happier with that price uh, at S30 with S35VN. It's not perfect, but button lock thumb stud flipper uh, from Concept looks like a combination of carbon fiber and titanium. Is it though? No, no. Wait. Does it say? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's titanium. It's kind of neat. I'm glad that um, uh, Concept's ex exploring the button lock thing. Uh, I like that. I don't know if that's my favorite aesthetic look ever, but I, I think it's neat that they're exploring it. <laughs> look at this. It's the Par Paragon Estiletto. That's the thing I was looking at a while back that said coming soon forever. That is a, I believe, automatic push button opener with powerful single action. That is a single action OTF. These are very powerful. And if they are not legal in your area, they will definitely get you in a lot of trouble. But there it is for $260 in S30V. Gosh, it's huge. 5.5 inch blade. It's 12.75 inches overall. That's gigantic. Okay. Um, let's see here. Moving on. Well, they got some, some in blue and some in red. Nice. Uh, I'm not interested in any of those. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see here. Uh, these these are all over Instagram. The Tour Knives Merchant. They look. I mean, I don't know. It's I can't decide. Have you ever looked at a knife and you're just not sure if you like it? Seven point eight seven five S thirty five VN. Where are these made? Uh, as an American-based company that manufactures ex excellent tactical and other knives in San Diego, California. That makes me feel way better about that price tag. It's very different. USA manufactured knife, right? 
You don't just want to automatically lump. If we're talking about a Chinese manufactured knife, then in S35 Vian, then yeah, please stay at 150 or less would be ideal. But that's Amer that's American made, so totally totally different, right? Even if the materials perform the same, I mean, you have to understand the costs are just different, right? I know I'm going to get people arguing with me. That's fine. Um, what do we have here? Civivi Torx bit screwdriver. That's kind of neat. The Wii Knife Sear is now available. That's kind of a nice looking knife. I mean, not not very risky, but eight and a half inches. I'm sorry, eight and a quarter inches uh, with a three and a half inch blade, roughly, and 20 CV. 215 bucks. I'd say that's a pretty, you know run-of-the-mill deal for a run-of-the-mill looking knife but I mean it looks like a good knife fully flat ground probably pretty straightforward bunch of Microtex, the Ultratech um let's see here the PMP Revenge 2 interesting so I owned a PMP Revenge like the first one and it was a nice knife it looks like these are oh yeah they've got some nice million that's a nice looking knife really nice looking knife uh nine inches and bowler m390 Ooh yeah um I wish we could see the other side of it. Okay. Well, there you go. The new PMP Revenge 2 is available. The one that I had was a nice knife. That's all I can say. Gosh, there are a lot of pages here. Oh, holy crap. Oh, that's a Troodon. Okay. We have a Troodon that's bronze. I thought it was a combat Troodon. I was like, I'm going to have to stop this video and go buy that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I can't just like readily fork over that. I'd have to sell something. Uh, moving on here. Is there anything else? Stretch to look at this Paragon, this rainbow. If you want a rainbow Paragon Warlock for $770, it's there. Um, anything else before we go to coming soon? I'll go one more page. It does. This looks somewhat familiar. Yeah, I think we're getting back into the other stuff. Uh, elementums and the baby banter, right? The baby banter is available. Okay, let's go look at coming soon. Excuse me. I didn't have filler dialogue prepared while I waited for this page to load. Yeah, it's this the same. I think we might be looking at some of the same coming soon items as before. Those Microtech SOCOM elites are uh, seem to be on their way. Let's take a look at this now that I know what I know from their... If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at their um, Instagram post. Hmm. Mm, not giving us any info there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what those are. Where they're coming from. I mean, it's they're still Microtex. I just don't... Just go look at their Instagram post, right? That's all. All I can do is just point in the direction of their actual Instagram post. And then you guys can decide what you want to decide. Eh, nothing super interesting here. They do, they do change the order of these sometimes, though. So that's why I'm still going through them. What is this? Mini Elementum. Okay, so Mini Elementums are coming soon. I don't know if that... I don't know if we really needed that, but they're coming. Civivi Lundquist, this or that. Lumi. Okay. Survive, GSOs. Saw those last time. Case. Nah, sorry, not interested in that. Not interested in that. Police 4 and K390 uh s35 vn versions of the resilience for 170 bucks oh come on not with that not the combination all that that's a lot of money for that um anything else that's super duper duper interesting that's coming soon i would venture to guess if there is more interesting stuff coming soon it's either hidden or it has not been loaded onto this page or it is backed way up yeah, we're getting back into like the titanium mini sheepdogs that are flipperless. Okay, well, let's go back to this. Uh, the main thing was wanting to, I want to try, and a lot of you guys seeing this right now know that I, I went ahead and notified everybody of this on the community tab way in advance. So, if you watch this whole video and you're like, they already dropped, I'm mad at you. I actually did notify everybody in my community tab and on Instagram uh, well before this video went up. This is kind of a, 
you know, in the event that it has not yet dropped, I should mention it, you know, it, during this video. But I like to go through these retailers periodically and just see what's coming. And that is definitely one of the most interesting things that is coming soon if it has not already dropped by the time of this video. In any case, like I said, you can find this stuff. Uh, I will link right at the right in the description under this video. Uh, new arrivals. And I'll also link coming soon so you can go through these pages yourselves. Uh, I will make sure that there is an individual link for the Spyderco PM2 uh, Tanto so that you guys can check that out too. I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed going through this new stuff with me. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.